Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and this is for the week, not the week, the month. <laughs> Could happen at any time, okay, in April. So what do we have for Sagittarius for April? A leg up. So somebody else got this as well. I believe it was Pisces. You could be dealing with the Pisces. I don't know. Um, but this is receiving help. So you are going to be receiving help from somebody this month. Um, I'm going to go ahead and read that for you. But you need to accept it. You may need to accept the help. And sometimes it's not easy to accept help. So I think that you know you're gonna you're gonna be offered some help, and you need to you probably should accept it. Receiving help, delegating authority, interdependence. You've come to a point where going it alone is lo no longer optimal for you. Life has a way of presenting you with the perfect people to align with you, who can give you a leg up during this next phase of your journey. Help comes to you in all areas of your life where you need a boost. The trick is to accept that aid so freely given. When you embrace interdependence, allowing teamwork and independence to commingle, miracles happen. Now is such a time. Relationships are that are healthy thrive on interdependence. It is important to recognize that you need others as much as they need you. You must allow people to support you, just as you are there for them. This is the time to be vulnerable, to speak up about your needs, and to ask for them to be fulfilled. Trust. You will, you will be met with kindness and love. Don't expect others to read your mind, though. Ask, and it is given. So there is, you're going to be coming together with somebody. It's kind of like spontaneously. This person can help you. They can help you to thrive. You know, they may be helping you in something that you need help with, but you haven't found that correct person to help you, or you haven't searched out the help, or you've, you know, um, been trying to do it alone. You're you're gonna they're gonna put you in touch with somebody that can help you to succeed during this time. Allow them to help you. Okay. These cards are so big. I don't know why they make them so big. Anyhow, what do we what do we have for Sagittarius? The sun reversed. So the sun reversed is unhappiness. But there is an opportunity. There's something here that is somebody here that isn't healthy. You know, they need to get healthy. We're gonna we're not gonna take the, these cards in reverse. So, so I'm gonna put it back. But that is a message. I feel like there's there's uh, poor health that needs to be dealt with. So you may need to focus on your health. Um, or even poor logic, you know. There could be loneliness even with sun card reverse. Loneliness due to disillusionment. Allow somebody in to help you, okay? What do we have for Sagittarius? Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is emotional fulfillment. That's happiness. It's a new start in love. Could be a new friendship. Could be a new lover. Could be something that makes you extremely happy. Okay, the Ace of Cups is things getting better. Um, it's a gift from above. Okay, Aces are new beginnings. They're, they're gifts. Um, so you have, a, you have something beautiful coming in. Um... That will bring you a lot of happiness. You just have to allow it though. Okay? You have to allow it into your life. What do we have for Sagittarius for April? Four of Cups reversed. Now, Four of Cups is better in reversed because this is an opportunity that is being taken. It's being seized. 
it's looking forward now. It is, it is a new opportunity that, you know, wasn't desired, it wasn't wanted, or it was ignored, or it was missed. This is taking the opportunity. Yeah, I'll take it. I want it. Take the opportunity. Now, you notice there's one cup. That's the Ace of Cups. Like I said, I think that you may have ignored an opportunity or passed something up in the past. I'm telling you what, this is an opportunity that you want to take. You're going to be offered something that you may not have even considered in the past. Okay, and I'm not, I'm not sure that... I, I wouldn't say that it is from somebody from the past. I would say this is something new. I think it's a new opportunity. I don't think it has anything to do with somebody in your past, put it that way. Cause, because I, I want to keep saying that. This is the end of stagnation, okay? Knight of Cups, Knight of Coins reversed. Ace of Cups again. Unbelievable. This is the Ace of Cups right here. So Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups. So you definitely have a new beginning in love here, okay? This is going to make you extremely happy. Extremely. I feel as though um, there is definitely some sort of help arriving, and, and I feel like you're, it's unplanned. The Knight of Pentacles reverse is not planned. It is the end of stagnation. I think things have been stalled. There's been no movement in your life. Things are about to change. They are. You're. It's good. This is good. It's. It's like. Things, I feel like with the Knight of Coins reverse in this instance, things are going to speed up. Not that they already haven't been speedy. I think that things are about to change in a very big way in regards to emotional fulfillment. You have a new offer coming in. There's been a delay, but I feel like the delay is over. Five of Cups, a new, Five of Cups in reversed is better than in on the upright as well. So this Five of Cups is seizing a new opportunity again, beginning to realize that there's another opportunity. You have another opportunity here. I feel like there's been some sort of moping. There's been some sort of sadness. This is definitely the end of stagnation. You have a new partnership with somebody. You're going to be partnering up with somebody. You are. This is going to make you extremely happy. There's support. Emotional support. This is a turning point for you. You have to have faith. And it feels like you don't have faith. You may not trust. You may feel like somebody's just after your money. No, I don't think that's the case. Have faith. Six of Wands reversed. King of Wands reversed. You know, I feel like you need to have confidence. There's lack of confidence. There's lack of ambition. There's lack of drive. There's, uh, well, we've had a setback or we're having a setback. We're in a situation where I feel like there's, there's, uh, I don't trust. I feel like you don't trust. There could be even some fear here because of the King of Wands reverse. You may be fearful of being taken advantage of. This is unreasonable, not practical. Maybe maybe you're not being practical. You're being unreasonable. You need to... Uh, don't fight it. It feels like you're fighting something. You know, it's like you have a new connection. Somebody wants to help you, and you're. it's almost like you're trying to fight it. Don't fight it.
I feel like there's some prolonged grief. You know, maybe you've been singling yourself out. You've been isolating yourself. You, you, you have somebody here that wants to support you, that wants to help you, that will help you. But you got to let go of your fears. you got to be practical. I see sorrow. You've been in some sort of battle, right? You've been, you've been, there's been fighting. There's been, you've been in a serious battle. And I feel like you've, may feel like you've lost that battle. And now help is arriving. They're going to help you. This help is going to help you fight this battle, whatever it is. But you got to open up. You And I feel like you, you want to protect yourself. You want to protect yourself from getting hurt. Let this person in. Don't fight it. You may feel like you don't want to be weak. You know, you got to be strong. You got to do it all by yourself. You don't have to do it all by yourself. That's ego. Let somebody help you. Emperor. The emperor takes charge. This is it. You you want to be in control. I understand. <laughs> the emperor is a person that is very structured, very very organized, very in a leadership position, uh, doing what's right for everybody involved, making a tough decision. So I feel like you have to make a tough decision. You have to take charge. You have to take ownership. I feel like you will, somebody is coming to help you. Somebody is coming, and I feel like this person is very, very strong. They're very knowledgeable. They're very experienced. This person is a master, you know, highly respected. And you may, you may feel like there's lack of confidence here. You may feel like you can't, can't trust this person. Anyway, I feel like you are going to um, be receiving help from somebody that is very, very highly respected, okay? So I think you can trust this person. This, this person um, may have their own business. They may, be, they may be a boss. They may be a manager. This person is a fighter. There's, and maybe this is your energy. The emperor is battle-ready. And I feel like you are battle ready because I can see that. It's like you're ready to fight at the drop of a dime. That's what I see. It's like you you are. It's like I'm ready to battle. You need to let go of that need to fight. Control yourself. Control your emotions. Be practical. Be reasonable. Let this person in. There is somebody here that can help you to let go of the pain that you have been in. I feel like you've been suffering over something. This person can help you to succeed. Okay? But I think that you're, you're ready to fight because you don't trust. I think that you want to protect yourself. You know, you got to let go, let down that barrier. Let go of that. You know, need to fight. You don't need to fight it. Don't fight it, okay? This is an opportunity that could make you happy, that could bring you emotional fulfillment. Whoever this person is that is coming in to help you, they are experienced. They are noble. This person is not going to deceive you. I don't even see any deception here. I don't. I see your fear though. You definitely have a new opportunity here that could make you happy. Let go of the fear. You need to take charge. You need to take control of your emotions. Don't, and I feel like there's anger here. You may be angry. You may be angry at all the setbacks that life has thrown at you. Now you got an opportunity to receive help. Accept it. Take it. Take the opportunity.
seven of swords. Here's your deception. And I'm putting it right here. And this is fear. So I feel like there is definitely fear of deception. Ah, you have a golden opportunity. It's hidden behind it. This is self-deception as well. This is a golden opportunity for stability, success, uh, long-term permanency. This is something you can take to the bank. You could be receiving an offer that brings you abundance. But I feel like you don't see it. You may be in a dark place. You may be in a mindset where you just don't trust. You're so afraid of getting cheated, of getting hurt, of getting stolen from, whatever it is. There's so much. I feel like there's, and I think it's because in the past. I think it's, I do feel like that has to do with the past. Seven of Swords is, I feel like it's self-deception. I also feel like there's somebody that is behind the scenes that, is, if you haven't met this person, this person is coming in very, very soon. Um, they may be just <sighs> below the surface, put it that way. There is somebody that is coming in. You, I don't think you've met this person yet. I think that your biggest fear is somebody maybe stealing your money. Or stealing your abundance or stealing something from you that is fear it is fear you definitely have long-term potential here you're gonna have to take a risk the seven of swords is about taking a risk I feel like this month somebody is gonna come into your life it's unplanned okay and they're gonna offer you some help it's risky. It is risky, but I think that you should take it. This is something that you can take to the bank. This is something that leads to long-term success. It leads to you being in control. Some of you, this may be a new business opportunity or business partnership. It may be, but whatever this is, this is something that is it's big, okay? This is a big opportunity and it does lead to emotional fulfillment if you can face your fears and take the opportunity. This is long-term potential. This is a new investment. It is prosperity. It is health. It's financial stability and financial security. This is a real, solid offer from somebody that is very... Uh, genuine put it that way some of you it's a job offer some of you some of you it's it, it's just somebody that's going to help you emotionally this person um, but I see a lot and I feel like there's self-deception here I feel like you need to be brave you need to have courage I feel like you've dealt with somebody who cheated you, lied to you. This person may have abandoned you. And that's why you don't trust. Anyway, I feel as though this month you're going to be receiving an offer from somebody that you should absolutely take. Ace of Cups twice and the Ace of Pentacles. This is manifestation. You have manifested. This is what you asked for. It's almost like you've been asking for this. This is a gift. Take it. So anyway, Sagittarius, uh, if somebody offers to help you, Say yes. This is a yes answer. Good luck.